WWE superstars who wrestled their final match the week they died. And the wrestling world has suffered some sudden deaths, with superstars often working just days before they passed away. Eddie Guerrero seemed on top of the world when he wrestled Mr. Kennedy on the 11th November 2005 episode of SmackDown. Guerrero had long put his personal demons behind him and rumor had it that he was in line for a second world championship. That night, Latino Heat battled Mr. Kennedy for a spot on SmackDown's Survivor Series team, with Eddie getting the win via disqualification after tricking the referee into thinking Kennedy had struck him with a chair. However, Eddie would never make it as he died on 13th November from heart failure at age 35. In an incredible coincidence, Mr. Kennedy also wrestled another wrestler before they passed away. On 28th November, Mr. Anderson, aka former WWE superstar Mr. Kennedy, wrestled Uso Fatu, aka former WWE superstar Umaga, during the Hulkamania Let the Battle Begin tour. Both Anderson and Fatu had been released by the WWE, but they were still in demand. Unfortunately, Umaga passed away on 4th December 2009. But Chris Benoit's horrific crimes against his wife and son still haunt the wrestling world. For some, what's even more shocking is that he wrestled on 19th June 2007, less than a week before he took his wife and son's lives. Benoit wrestled Elijah Burke during an episode of WWE's version of ECW, defeating Burke to qualify for a chance to win the vacant ECW championship at the WWE's Vengeance pay-per-view. Years later, Burke would tell Straight Talk Wrestling that despite Benoit's final days, he considered it an honor to step into the ring with a wrestler he spent so many years looking up to. Brian Pillman is another wrestler whose life ended far too soon. Pillman's body was discovered on 5th October 1997, the same day he was supposed to work the WWF's pay-per-view In Your House Bad Blood. Pillman, who died from a heart attack, had wrestled Goldust, aka Dustin Rhodes, the night before at a live event in St. Paul, Minnesota. Owen Hart often worked in a tag team with Jeff Jarrett, and he would wrestle his last match alongside Double J just one day before his accidental death at WWF's Over the Edge pay-per-view. The bout featured the King of Hearts and Double J taking on Edge and Christian at a house show in Chicago's Rosemont Horizon. The next day, Owen died after his harness prematurely released him as he repelled from the rafters. Also, the death of WWF enhancement talent Rick McGraw fueled rumors that he had died after taking a severe beating in the ring from opponent Rowdy Roddy Piper. Rick McGraw died on 1st November 1985 after suffering a heart attack. At this time, promoters still protected kayfabe, so some fans still believed wrestling was a legitimate sporting competition. Roddy Piper wrestled McGraw in an episode of Championship Wrestling that aired on 2nd November 1985. The match ended with McGraw doing a stretcher job after Piper hit him with multiple net breakers and a DDT. When fans learned of McGraw's death, some attributed it to the tremendous beating he seemed to take. Obviously, that wasn't the cause. However, fans likely were also unaware that McGraw's last match wasn't against Piper, but against Iron Mike Sharp, another enhancement talent. The two wrestled at a house show on 28th October.